Hydrochloric acid, that's mean stuff. I almost burned a hole in my hand. You see that steaming? Ooh, wee. Hey, greetings, this is Jake Wizard 4 here at Faraday Studios. I was preparing something for Midnight Science Club and I've got a little problem here. Dang, whenever something's gonna stink, or dangerous, uh, put the nose on it, because no one knows what the nose knows, except for the wizard, of course. You say that again, that kind of rolls off your tongue, that it? No one knows what the nose knows. Now I got the whole crew scared. Jake, put the nose out. Oh no! <laughs> this nose knows something's going on wrong here. I have this beaker, I have some concentrated hydrochloric acid. Now I've got some drops, the fumes have come up and collected on the inside. When I pick this up, I almost burned a hole in my hand. Came that close, but luckily the nose saved me. I'll put the nose right back on there. So I'm gonna deal with it right now. Chemists will always keep these around filled with distilled water. That way I can rinse things down and squirt it in my face if I need to, if I get it. You always keep a wash bottle handy in the lab, always. Hydrochloric acid, that's mean stuff. I tell you what, in an emergency, this will really clean your teeth. Fast, but I don't recommend it, I'll get in trouble. Just in case I get some on my fingers and I'm just gonna, oh look, oh, not that, never mind. You see that steaming? Ooh, wee. Then I can just take the wash bottle, rinse that, ah, oh, there you go, get that dang thing off of there. Use some distilled water and I can get it down so it's not so concentrated and then, it, then it's not, uh, that's not gonna hurt anybody. That had my heart pounding there for a second. So now you can all rest easier. The mighty wizard in his squirt bottle saved the day. You do have to think on your feet and you gotta be sharp. Because there are chemicals in the lab here that could, that could kill me or maim me or hurt me bad. Or burn holes through my hands or lose a finger. Somebody said once, I've spent four days working in the lab with Jake there, they, I, four days there. Get a little acid on your finger. You know your fingers are pretty tough and it might not burn for a while. And then later on in the afternoon, you reach up and scratch your eye. So if you're gonna be a chemist, and I am a chemist, I've been a chemist for half a century. I even have a certificate that says I'm an official chemist, so don't mess with me. I'm telling you, I'm official. I've got it on the wall, the whole thing. Now what was the rhyme we made up? The solution to pollution is dilution. It is. A little water, you can dilute it, and sometimes that helps. Let's get on, let's, let's do some chemistry now, now that I've got my uh, big drip taken care of. Look around, I made some art. Right here it is, check this out. This is my ode to zinc and copper. I thought I would do a little science activity that pays tribute to my art today. Now you might say, I don't have any access, Jake, I'm sorry, to zinc and copper. We just don't find that laying around. So, aha, yes you do. Right here, here's a source. I know the president is gonna be up, upset with me defacing US currency, but I'm a rebel. I'm gonna do it anyway with great joy. So I've got a penny. A penny coin after 1984 date is copper clad. Copper got so darn expensive, they had to make them cheaper. So this copper is kind of like one of those coins filled with chocolate or bubble gum. This copper coin is filled with zinc. You can see that shiny center, that's zinc. I took this little file and cut a little notch in the edge of the coins and then put some hydrochloric acid. I said, Jake, where am I? I know where I can get a penny, but where can I get hydrochloric acid? I mean, come on. Pizza Hut doesn't deliver that anymore. If you go to the hardware store, or paint store, you can get something called muriatic acid. It's not quite as strong as this, but it will still do the same thing. The muriatic acid's pretty mean. They use it to clean concrete before they paint it and stuff. And I'm not gonna drop it in the acid. I'm just going to hold it right over the acid. Just let it fall maybe an eighth of an inch. I don't wanna splash everything there. And there it is. Look at this. Those six little holes on the edge of the coin, there are bubbles coming out. The acid, is reacting with the zinc before it reacts with the copper. It's more chemically active. And eventually, all the zinc will be gone and I'll have a hollow penny. If you look, in, you look down in that little black crevice, it used to be shiny and something it's disappeared, there's a hole. It's been eaten out like termites or something. Hey, sorry it took so long. I had to sneak in here late at night. We were waiting for these pennies to get hollowed out by the hydrochloric acid and it just took a little bit longer than I thought. So I left them setting here for a few hours. So I'm gonna take it out of the acid and take it over here to the water. I'll put it in there and just shake it around, shake it around, shake it around, shake it around, pick that up. Oh, look at that, I almost bent, I almost broke it. Almost broke it in half. Look at this, it's all flimsy. It ate out the zinc. The zinc be gone, the zinc's in solution now. I've ended up with a hollow penny. Spread that apart a little bit, yeah, look at that. I can get down inside that penny, yeah. 
zinc is just about gone. There's a little bit of zinc still in there, so I better let it cook for another hour or two. You can tell it's all eaten up inside. Look at that, it's, yeah. Well, thank, thanks. I hope it was worth the wait to see a hollow penny. So, yeah, people line up. They go to the Grand Canyon, you know, they go see the Northern Lights, and they come to Midnight Science Club to see a hollow penny. I mean, I don't know how we can get much better than that, but we'll try, won't we? Join us, please, where you'll find us all over social media. Patreon, too, if you really want to get some of the real dope on what goes on here at, F at Faraday Studio. But I'll see you on, hopefully not county jail, if they get me for hollowing these pennies. I, don't, I might see you there, too. But we'll be, be around. Thanks so much.